A few weeks ago, I did a ride from Shrewsbury down through Wales to visit my brother on the Gower Peninsula. And it was a lovely ride, but the weather was not always kind, shall we say. Go check out the link if you haven't seen it. And on the first night, I pitched my tent amongst the dripping trees on a windswept Welsh hillside. And Alan messaged me and asked me, how's it going, Jeffers? And I told him, quite frankly, I'm wet, I'm cold, I'm tired. The weather is set to get worse. I might have to bail on this one. And like any good friend would, he mocked my predicament, told me how warm and comfortable he was at home and hung up. But he also suggested that we should perhaps plan something more achievable, a route more built for respectable gentlemen of our ageing years. And so this morning, we've climbed up onto the hill above Folkestone, where Alan lives. Not on the hill. He doesn't live on the hill, he lives in the town, in a rather a lovely house. a building site. Yeah. And we're going to ride the Canty Way over the next four days. No massive hills, mostly tarmac, no camping, we're travelling super light, staying in pubs, eating pies, drinking beers, frolicking in the freedom of unloaded credit card touring. Alan? And we're going to film it and do a video. Several videos? Yeah, several videos. Sun's shining, yep. it's not going to shine for long. Tomorrow it's raining, so... That way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to take a picture. Oh, sorry, what, of me? Okay, shall I do this? Yeah, sorry, just sorry. a bit closer over that way. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't even joke, it makes me feel funny. It's fun. <laughs> Parkour. There's loads and loads of stuff left over from the war all along this coast. You can just, I mean, quite clearly now actually see the, the coast of northern France just over the water. So there's loads of gun emplacements on the beaches and things. And this behind us is a sound mirror. So this was used before radar, I think, to amplify the sound of approaching um, bomber planes coming in to, to hit London. I think it gave them like a couple of minutes warning ahead of actually being able to hear them with your naked ears. I mean, your ears are always naked. Well, not always. You might be wearing earmuffs. Anyway, that's some historical context because me and Alan, we're quite highbrow. What's your favorite historical context, Alan? The one about the highbrows. Yeah, that was a good one. Look, seagull.
Alan's off finding his own route. My first little piece of tippage for anyone thinking of doing this the canty way is skip the loop in Dover that goes up and round the castle. I mean, you get half a view of the castle, but it's not that spectacular. And it's absolutely definitely not worth a fairly long and unpleasant climb on a quite busy main road. Yeah. Just follow the cycle route straight along the coast and join up with it at the Little National Trust car park. Hi, Future Jethro here, just editing this and thought I'd quickly check the facts before I make suggestions like this. Uh, it turns out that the alternate route that I am talking about here is a cycle route, it's part of Sustrans Route 1, but it does also include some steps. Now, I'm not going to get into a lengthy thing about the logic behind the choices of the UK cycle network because we'll be here for a long time if I do but just be warned if you listen to me you will end up manipulating your bike up or down some steps um, on open cycle map it's listed as all steps it's not all steps it's a section or two um, and personally I probably would have rather taken my bike up some steps and cycle round on the main road but that's just that's just me. You make your own decisions. We're all grown-ups here. I just wanted to uh, to clarify. Back to the video. Car park. But if you're particularly into masonry, as I know some of you will be, it's worth checking it out because the masonry is sublime. There is, but in that case, you might want to pay and go in and just poke around in the castle. I don't pay for it. Clamber over the fence. <sighs>
Alan, have a complimentary biscuit. So, quite early on in the day, we realised that we had overestimated the amount of time we would need to complete this quite flat, quite tarmac focused route and that we were in danger of arriving unfashionably early at our accommodation. Mm -hmm. So we adopted a leisurely pace for the afternoon and we arrived in the golden evening sun at the Royal Temple Yacht Club in Ramsgate. We have a wonderful large and spacious room, a romantic sea view, made more romantic by the romantic scaffolding all over the front of the building. Yes. Uh, we have one bed with an anchor on it and one bed with a yacht on it. I believe Alan has selected the, the yacht. The yacht. Yes. I therefore will be sleeping in the anchor bed. And normally I would sum up the day's riding, but just to mix things up a bit, because this is Alan's home turf, this is his local route. Alan, what did you think of the ride today? Yeah, it was leisurely, wasn't it? It was really nice and leisurely. A lot of tarmac, a lot of um, sights for the eyes, if you wanted to see them. We passed a couple of castles. If you're into masonry, you check those out. And uh, Jeffers wasn't interested at all. He just went straight by and I had to say, look, we're going to get there really early. We should be checking this stuff out, man. And I... you actually said, screw the castle. I did not. You did. Did I? Sorry, Bruce, you did. This is the real, the real Jethro. That you, that you, you, the side of Jethro you don't see. Culturally it ignorant. Masonry, but um, we went to check out the pier. I think in good. many years of making YouTube, yeah. I've never used the word masonry You've in a video. You've been doing it for two months, haven't you? And now you've said it three times in this video. What is it with you and masonry? I'm just trying to cater for everyone. Like, there's, there are going to be viewers out there that hate masonry, not you. They might like masonry. It's true. It's all, isn't it? It's true. I they mean, it's watch, they, something they, for everyone. You know, once you've watched this video, you'll be not doing the washing up with driving your car. Or you go, do you know what? I like masonry. Alan's right. I like masonry. And you would have got something from this video. Well, Not let's hope Jeff so. Jeff moaning about the rain and stuff all the time, you know. You can be... I'm not moaning about it. Alan thinks it's going to rain tomorrow. I'm saying it's going to be golden, glorious sunshine like oh, I today. I don't think so. But the BBC Weather app does. What do they know? Yeah. What do they know? Yeah. Now, it, it might be horrible tomorrow. Today we were lucky. We had beautiful sunshine, golden, lovely. I mean, the footage, hopefully, has looked it fantastic. It was um, and it was nice. It was quite busy. That's my only complaint. We spent a lot of time in with traffic or next to traffic or weaving around walkers and dogs and children and stuff. But it, yeah, it was it was all right. I'm not gonna, yeah, not gonna complain. And now uh, apparently there's a quiz downstairs in the pub later. We're gonna go and maybe eat some curry, probably have a couple of beers. They charge you two pounds more if you're not a member, though. I know. So bear that in mind. If I had a yacht, I'd become a member. Yeah. I mean, this is a long outro. So leave a comment below saying whether you like Alan doing the outros or shall I just put him back on his leash and not let him do any more. Um, leave a comment if you like masonry or if you don't <laughs> like masonry. I'm going to just do this so that I can scroll my monthly Kofi supporter names up here. You folk are amazing. I mean, almost amazing enough that I used you to cover up Alan, but I thought that would be rude. So thank you very much for that. Um, everyone else, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. You are also amazing, of course. Um, if you would like to support the channel, have a look down below in the description. There are various methods available now. Uh, my Kofi page, you can make donations, you can buy a spoon, you can buy stickers, stuff that I've been making. There are affiliate links to gear that I use, which I get a little commission on if you click. Um, there's the zombie book, which myself and Woody created, which is for sale, which is lovely. We've sold a few of those, so thank you if you purchased one already. Um, I think that might be it. I'm really, really hungry. So we're going to go out and see what fine dining Ramsgate has to offer. Thank you very much. See you on the next one. Bye now.